to be brought from this experience is that this book is written from the perspective that statements being made need to be backed up with examples from entertainment and occult doctrine. Not everyone believes every conspiracy theory out there, and I'm in that same camp because there needs to be a decent amount of evidence for me to subscribe to it. I've provided an exhaustive number of examples, and they all trace back to the teachings of the occult. From the Babylonian stargazers, to the ancient mystery schools of Egypt and Rome, to the Freemasons, Kabbalists, ancient alien theorists, and ceremonial magicians, they all direct back to a basic worldview of the occult, and this book reveals it for us profane folks to understand. In this book, I reveal the power and purpose behind symbols. Using examples from entertainment, like Jay-Z's and Beyonce's Rock Diamond as the triangle of manifestation, we can learn how the doctrine of the occult operates. It also becomes evident that predictive programming in television shows and films, such as Batman Dark Knight Rises, plays a larger role in dark events, such as the Sandy Hook shootings. Many musicians, such as Katy Perry and Rihanna, have works that are laden with Illuminati concepts, and this book reveals several instances to prove this point. To understand why the Illuminati think the way they do, we explore the secret history that the practitioners of the occult subscribe to. In it, we find out that the true savior of their world is the Prometheus archetype that traces back to the serpent from the Garden of Eden. Luciferian concepts make themselves known in entertainment like Westworld, the Rocky Horror Picture Show, and Alien Covenant. So this book provides analysis on all of these familiar works. The final stages of the agenda are to use science fiction as a subconscious programmer through shows like Ancient Aliens to implant ideas of an alternate, higher consciousness. NASA's history of occultism is revealed as we see the pieces of the puzzle fit together to understand why we're pursuing contact with aliens, which could very well be demonic entities. These different approaches are used in conjunction with technology to push us down the transhumanism movement, which seeks to destroy God's creation, mankind. The final chapter reveals my personal way forward out of this negativity. I also answer many questions that have been posed to me over the years through the Illuminati Watcher Project. I promise that I'm not fabricating anything inside of this book. If these truths weren't so evident, I would have bagged this exploration years ago, but the more I learn, the more obvious the agenda seems. On that note, I'd like to advise that I won't be going deeply into some of these esoteric practices. The reason is twofold. One, I want this book to be for anybody to read and comprehend. If I go too far in the weeds, I'm sure half the readers will lose interest. Reason two is that I'm far from an expert on the practice. I've researched enough to understand what their purpose and intent is, but there are nuances that I'm confident I don't fully understand. I'll be providing brief primers on the subjects as needed. The occult concepts are extremely complex and well beyond the scope of this book. The sources utilized to write this book will be clearly listed, so if the reader wants to learn more about the world of the occult, they are free to check out some of the citations, such as Aleister Crowley's Book of the Law, Kenneth Grant's The Magical Revival, Manly P. Hall's The Secret Teachings of All Ages, Anton LaVey's The Satanic Bible, or Helena Blavatsky's Isis Unveiled, to name a few. My goal is to open your mind to the possibility that our entire world is susceptible to influences beyond our comprehension. I'm certainly not calling for a boycott on music, films, or anything of that nature, especially the people I use as examples in this writing. After all, they are most likely victims of this scheme. I don't know why I've been chosen to go on this journey, and I surely don't know how you and I found each other. The reality is that reading this book will change your fundamental view of this world, or at the minimum, the entertainment you digest. Make no mistake about it, this is my greatest understanding of this enormously difficult and complex topic.